And it's Taylor, and I'm actually at the rink. I'm recording this now because the thing that I just learned, and I, where's my camera? There it is. Uh, um, has really affected everything, like drastically um, affected my skating. Now, uh, I have another video. I'll probably uh, that I haven't gotten up yet, but I'll probably get it up before I get this one up because I don't have to edit it very much, if at all. Um, and uh, but you'll see that. Uh, I've been basically, I've been rollerblading, and uh, so that has relevance to what I've been, well, actually nothing in that video has any relevance to today, that was more of a funny story, but anyway, um, I was uh, getting ready to skate, lacing up, uh, tying my skates and everything, and uh, I found one of my friends online figure skated, and so she was giving me, she said that what a lot of what my problems seemed to be like was that my uh, skates were not tightened properly, so I tightened them more, and she's like, no, those are way too loose, and then I tightened them more, and she still said they were too loose, but I think, and I, and I said this too, I think hockey skates and figure skates are a little bit different, they don't necessarily conform the same, but then again, different skates might be different also but I, I did tighten my skates to the fact where I can actually feel it on my ankles now and I got on the rink and yeah <laughs> um, shifting body weight has consequences now <laughs> much more many more consequences than they did previously so thank you thank you uh, uh, thank you very much if you're if you actually watch this uh, for telling me that. And uh, I've actually managed to do a T-stop. And um, yeah. Uh, also, as I mentioned briefly before, now I decided to get some rollerblades so I could uh, skate during the week and get some you know basic stuff done, and also get my leg strength up because well, skating up and down, skating uphill is very very good for that. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I learned, since I live in a very hilly area, um, skating downhill is in fact a necessity, and so I had to learn how to stop and slow down, and while I haven't fully mastered that and had to run off into the grass a lot on my way down, um, I did learn the, uh, I forget exactly what they called it, um, but it's basically, um, you, uh, 45 degrees and let it drag behind you and um, I think it was called I want to say it's the skid stop but I don't think that's actually correct and, or if I got that footage properly so um, I will uh, when I get footage um, I will um, I will I'll demonstrate um, easy but yeah I uh, and so I'm using that to slow down as well as I got the T stop so I am going to start working on the snow plow and the hockey stop now and uh, there are two birthday parties here today so I'm not sure if I will practice the uh, practice skating backwards or not because there's a lot of people <laughs> but yeah I, I wanted to get this now because uh, it, it made a huge 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 difference and like doing things does things now so I know that sounds really silly but yeah <laughs> But uh, yeah, um, I'll get some footage and um, talk about what, how my training went today afterwards. So yeah, check that out now.
washed up and um, went in to look at sticks and got this one. It's a CCM Super Tax Crosby. I guess it's going to mirror it either way. So, um, but yeah, that and um, it basic. Um, it was uh, two two sixty nine or. Yeah, two six, uh, two fifty nine, and then it was on sale for one hundred and seventy, and then it was actually cut to fifty percent off that in the store. So the guy who was I was talking to about what kind of stick I should get, he said I should get that one. There were some that were Easton's that were sixty dollars, but he said that the reason why, and they had a bunch of them, and he said the reason why they weren't selling is because they had a square tip that, um, with a really bad lie, so, um, if they weren't specifically that, then he would have recommended I got that one instead, and, yeah, he, uh, we looked at a few different sticks, and, um, he said, basically just, you get that one, since it was such a, a good deal, and, um, it would be good for what, um, uh, what I'd be doing, he actually, um, coaches at I think he said he coaches at the pond. He also plays goalie, and um, so he uh, he um, also was talking to me about what kind of pads and stuff. And he was thought that that Chaparral sold uh, used stuff and was gonna uh, help me outfit me with that, those um, used pads and stuff like that. And but um, they don't; they just rent them. And so that actually might be useful for him. that. Actually, might be good for me initially because I don't really well I do need to well I could still practice with them when I got them but now now that I have my stick I can practice at the ponds during the week and not have to come here on weekends all the time so that'll be interesting uh, I also got a puck and tape for my stick so I will be putting that together tonight um I'm gonna have to watch a few videos but yeah I um I did actually uh, uh, practice skating backwards and I managed to do it but not with any uh, um, measure of agility in any sense of the word <laughs> but you know this is my first time well probably actually technically is my second time because I do remember back when I was um, in um, see if it goes off uh, back when I was when I learned how they uh, I actually did learn how to skate backwards but um, when I was like in high school or junior high um, probably at the same level that <laughs> I am now, uh, but yeah, I am, um, uh, as I said earlier, being able to, uh, uh, tightening up my skates really, 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 really helped out. I mean, um, it took me a few minutes to get used to the fact that, uh, how much changing the weight on my skates affected how, what I was doing. And, it was um, it wasn't like learning how to skate again. It didn't take too long to get used to it, but my ink, uh, but yeah, I uh, it, it made a huge, huge, huge difference. So if um, you're watching my videos and you're learning how to skate, make sure that you keep your laces as tight as you know comfortable. And uh, and also my, one of my friends I told said that I actually need to tie them from the top down. So, I'm going to do that too and probably look up a video just to make sure I'm doing it right. Um, let's see. I uh, like I, I think in the footage I got some good uh, shots of me actually doing the T-stop. Um, I know I'm not quite doing it properly because I don't have... Um, I think I'm still on the inner ed edge rather than the outer edge like I'm supposed to be. But I can effectively stop and slow down now. So, I am actually pretty happy with that. Uh, but I, I know I have some, I do know that I still have work to go. So, um, that's, that's exciting. Um, I also worked on crossovers, although I don't, I tried to get footage of me doing, working on crossovers, but I don't think I got it. There was, um, I think I had the cam, I was too close to the wall or the way I had the camera set up, but well, I will find that out when I edit this together and hopefully, hopefully there will be some. <laughs> Um, let's see, what else did I work on? I continued working on the balancing exercise, which is a whole lot easier now that I have, uh, ankle support, and 
And I then I also I actually worked on the second one, which is where I keep my leg straight behind me, which um, I see why they do that because when I do it, I start leaning forward to compensate, which puts pressure on the front of the skate, which makes me go off balance. So I think I will work on that more. And um, uh, yeah, I will work on that more. Um, I also, um, last night, actually yesterday, I got brand new rollerblades and I worked on learning how to stop. Like I, I mentioned a little bit that just when I was talked about the drag stopper, Drag stop, that's what it's called. Um, not this kid stop. Uh, but yeah, I, um, which actually helped me out today. Um, I am not very good, um, at, uh, rollerblading downhill and keeping my, maintaining a healthy speed yet, but I will probably get there too. But now I can practice with my, uh, um, pra yeah, I, well, I won't be able to practice shooting anything, shooting my puck or anything, but, um, at least can practice skating with my stick on my rollerblades as well as my ice skates now. So, gonna get a whole lot more work done on that um, during the week. And now I can also practice at the pond if I can manage to get there in time during the week too. So, I might just do that tomorrow. Actually, wait, no, I can't. I probably won't do it. Unless I get a lot of work on my podcast done today, I probably won't do it this week. Um, cause it's a release week for my podcast, so. Uh, but yeah, I, um, that's all today. If y'all have any, um, suggestions or tips of what, um, I am doing right, doing wrong, what I could prove, what exercises I could work on, um, to improve my ability before August, or any recommendations on equipment, I would love to hear them. So let me know, and, uh, thanks for watching.